Fan of Bean Show. I'm Joe Wamba. Join now with Paul Canabine, head coach of the men's lacrosse team. And coach, you guys travel up to RIT, face the number two team in the country. Uh, at one point, you were down 14 to seven. Finish it out 16 to 13. What was the difference in those two points of the game? I think, you know, we just, you know, we played pretty hard all game. I thought we did a really good job getting up and down, but, you know, they really made us capitalize on their mistakes. And then when they made a mistake, they did a good job making some plays and some big saves by their goalie, some tough ground balls. And that was kind of the difference. You know, I thought we faced off pretty well. And, uh, you know, I thought we competed really pretty well defensively, but every time we made a mistake, they made us capitalize. And that's why they're great. They're very good high IQ guys. Uh, they're always in the right spot and they shoot the ball really well. But I like how we didn't give up. We kept fighting and we had some opportunities to get close there. We're battling back, play here, play there. You know, it could be a little bit different different as we start coming back and uh, but we got to be a little smarter and that's what I think the biggest difference that we didn't play with a uh, uh, too smart there and gave them some easy opportunities but I think we'll be all right we got to shoot the ball better attack can't go three of 23 shooting the ball uh, but you know some great things Kyle down played outstanding I thought Kyle uh, I thought um down DeFazio played great Dylan Harris played great I thought a freshman faceoff guy did a good job and you know and uh, I thought you know Kyle Karasin did a real good job playing and JT Thielen and and um, Brendan Watson are gonna get a lot better you know that's their first game in about two years both of those kids so they need to get the feel of it again and I think it'll be great and uh, getting everybody healthy on Monday with Lito Flanagan back in the lineup and getting a full week of our three senior middies that missed about two weeks you know a full week of practice is really going to help us so you know it was a tough loss we understand it's tough traveling uh, up to um, you know beautiful Rochester in the middle of a windstorm and all that fun stuff but it is what it is and you know we got to handle it and uh, you know we'll get better. You touched on it a little bit as the face-off circle or X as you'd call it uh, you being the face-off guy that you are uh, what what were the good things that you saw? You guys finished dead even, sixteen face yeah. offs. Yeah. A piece. Well, I mean, you got two guys in there. You're starting a freshman, and Justin Bernetti, who's the first time playing a freshman against a really good kid from RIT, and I thought he held his own. You know, Nate is much better than a year ago. Nate Laquang, and he did a much better job. So we competed there. Uh, we got to work a little bit on our wings and beating in the right spot a little bit. But um, you know, I thought we did a good job giving ourselves a chance. And as we move forward into the week to come, you guys are going to face Gettysburg at their place. They went into an overtime game with Salisbury. What are the things that you guys are going to be focusing on heading into this game? Yeah, you know, playing Gettysburg is going to be a little bit different. You know, uh, they're a lot different than RIT, how they play. Uh, they're going to play a lot more methodical, a lot slower. Um, you know, um, RIT is a very big, you know, very big team. Um, uh, Gettysburg's not as big. You know, they got some smaller guys, a little quicker guys. So that's a little more of a challenge for us. And, uh, you know, they play always play great defense down there. So, But, you know, we feel confident in what we're doing. we got to go there. We'll get a great, uh, a great go. But they're going to be a different team. they got a great goalie back. they got one of their good defenders defenseman back, uh, you know, and they got a couple guys uh, on the attack that are back that can play. And uh, so, you know, but we're going to have to go out and do our thing. And I think the way we played offensively was very disciplined. I thought we did a good job getting the shots we needed, and we'll get better. But, you know, the, and Hank always does a great job with them, getting them prepared, and we're looking forward to the challenge for sure. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck and safe travels up that way and on improving the things that you're going to improve this week. Well, thank you very much. We'll get, get, we'll get after it, and we look forward to it. He's Paul Canabine. I'm Joe Wamba. This has been the Paul Canabine Show.